Today on the number six with cheese food review channel, the number one restaurant in the country. So many years running. Let's freaking go. Hi, this is an order for Corey Wagner. What time is it for? 4.30. Once the cars in front of you start to leave, pull up behind them all the way up to the orange cone. Awesome, cool. thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? It's from Yes, yep. it is. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. Thank you so much. There's the anniversary experience for two people. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, you much. Too. Thank Have you a good so one. much. Oh my god. Ooh, what do we got in here? Pretty sure this is like a 40 pound bag of six course food. That's two <laughs> orders, a hundred dollars worth of the Alinea. 15 year anniversary special take home meal. Headed back to Corey's to try it. Huh? He's nervous. Acquired jump cut. Baby. Are we rich now? Hallelujah, I'm a millionaire. I don't look rich, I don't smell rich, but I feel rich. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who know, Alinea, best restaurant in the world by Elite Traveler, best restaurant in North America by the world's 50 best restaurants, best restaurant in the US by Gourmet and Business Insider, and only one of about a dozen Michelin three-star rated restaurants in America. And we get to eat it out of my dirty living room. And to make it dirty, Jepson's Malort. Mm. An old style Chicago handshakes, cause we Chicago boys now, to rinse down this three-star, six-course Alinea meal. 50 bucks a person for the 15 year anniversary of one of the world's best restaurants to date. I got a food boner. Dude, it's ripping through my pants. These are the last time I'm gonna be able to wear these beautiful slacks. He's starting off with a food boner and if we graduate to what Corey Wagner calls a tummy boner, you know we're in good company. Watch out. You know what, the only thing I am worried about I'm getting a boner. All right, so here's the deal. Usually it's like a 13 course meal. Did you say 18? It can be up to like 20. Up to like 20. This is usually a very big meal, but for their anniversary meal, this little special that they're doing right now during the quarantine, it's a six course meal. And in between every course, we're gonna take a little shot of Malort because it's Chicago. This is a Chicago yeah. restaurant. Mm -hmm. We gotta honor Chicago. And also, anytime Sean Healy has an excuse to drink a Malort shot, he gon' do it. You do me so right. This will also give me hope that Alinea might offer a little sidecar of Malort when you go to the restaurant. So maybe when we come in, we'll get we'll, yes. we'll check the box for the Malort special. Look dirty, dress nice, drink nasty. <laughs> That's Corey Wagner 2020. I'm getting a tattooed on my tummy. <laughs> So yeah, we got the sheets, we assembled everything, took us like an hour. Yeah, it took a little bit of time. You can do it one by one, we wanna do it all together. So we heated everything up, we did the thing, we got the sheets here for consulting. Dude, I'm so excited. Yes, and so what are we starting out? This is the first course. So this is Bliss Char Row. This is probably the fanciest. I'm not saying that the, the main course doesn't look fancy. This is so fancy. But this is so fancy. It looks like I'm seeing some fish eggs. This is what, if I was just to stumble upon this, this is what I think. It's a dollop of sour cream. Yep. Covered in, what are those little beads that keep skate, like the skating wheels can roll? Bearings. This looks like covered in uh, gold bearings. Yep. Then it, someone snapped open a highlighter and dumped the <laughs> highlighter yellow on yeah, top of it. Yeah, the juice. That. And this looks like a, uh, this orange circular thing yeah. looks like someone that my grandma has to eat to keep herself alive. <laughs> like old mush food for, for elderly. But apparently it's just fancy people feast. Yes, yes. In actuality, coconut, passion fruit, carrots. I don't know what I'm eating, but I'm so excited we're doing it together. French Little word. spicy turmeric vinaigrette. Cheers. I don't know. Oh, this is crazy. Cheers. It tastes like, um, whoa. It, what's the stuff you put on Easter egg to make it like vinegar? It tastes like vinegar. Like the turmeric vinaigrette in the bottom. Dude, this is wild. A salty yogurt. <laughs> it mainly to me tastes like, tastes like a cleaning product. <laughs> it was interesting though. You got like the explosion, the crunch when those little balls in there. The bearings. And then everything else kind of yogurt consistency. This is really interesting. Yeah, I don't like it. Gotta cleanse the palate after that. <laughs> First shot always goes down the smoothest. What was that, Billy? <laughs> Next up, we got chilled English pea soup. Chamomile. 
What's Cam chamomile? Chamomile. Chamomile compressed melon. They squished it? Yeah, they compressed it. Oh, there's a different word for that. In Squishy my, melon. In my neighborhood, they don't say compressed. They say you just squished it. Okay. Uh, yogurt and ham. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I've never had chilled pea soup before. It's radioactive. These are bowls. Okay, there you go. Touch me. Oh, that's actually good. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I didn't think I was going to like this at you all. You don't normally like cold foods that are normally warm. So I, I was worried about that. I hate cold foods. Mm -hmm. I despise them. I feel just as uncomfortable as I thought I would. Mm, this is good, though. You know, Alinea, you got to be doing something right if this dude likes cold soup. Cold pea soup? Right. I hate peas. I just can't eat that many peas. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice and salty. Plus it looks like something you drink to become a Ninja Turtle. No, primo to the extremo. It's really creamy, like great consistency. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got a really like just desirable. Bro, what's that taste in there? This don't taste like no peas. I've ate, I've had peas. I don't like peas. This don't taste like no peas. <laughs> oh, this is good. This guy's drinking pea soup. Alinea. You think you're allowed to do that at the restaurant? You think that's looked down upon? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Oh, that's a delicious pea soup. Am Why I, would be the upcharge for more pea soup? Am I Rockefeller now? Yes. This is my favorite thing so far. <laughs> yeah, that was good. This is fantastic. Yeah, I don't know why I like it, but I do. Pea soup, that's a thumbs up. Palate cleanser, before we go on to course three. <laughs> Dude, this is... Legit. This is how I know that we're like, we fancy boys. We fancy boys. Oh, what's that bowl you have on the table next to you? Dude, not even edible. Just keep it near you for the aromatics. Aromatics, bro? Poached prawns, Thai curry, cucumber, mango, and a Thai aroma bowl. Because you know, we fancy boys. Prawns are shrimps. Oh, I thought they were little elvish uh, fairy creatures that have horse legs but are tiny and stout. <laughs> you, have you seen those? No, dude, they usually I play like a like a horn that's kind of spun in a circle. Mm. And they got little hooves. You see what I deal with? <laughs> so Corey, make sure you don't eat the tail. You want to bite, but but don't eat the the plasticky part. Oh, okay. Do you got to pull the poo out? Uh, you can if you want to. I leave it in. What? I think it's full of uh, omega threes. Is this guy for real? You got poo in there? You're gonna eat the poo? I'm, I eat it. I don't even. I don't pull it out. Nah, bro. You're full of it. They t they must have de pooed. Nah, it doesn't. The directions from the restaurant don't say to de poo it. You don't fork it and eat it with the pickle and the. Pineapple? You probably should, but I'm from Redford, Michigan, so I'm just gonna detail and go for it. Okay. Poached prawns, Alinea. Cheers. Mmm. Turns out I like shrimp. <laughs> That's really good. Never knew it. Get a little bit of that mango. That's good shrimp, dude. I like that sauce. Do a grab and rip. Nice. This is my favorite thing so far. Dude, everything so far has been uh, everything your favorite so far. I saw that that's a lot of what they do. They want there to be kind of like nooks and crannies of the eating experience. Uh, I'm just all, I'm all crannies. Yeah, you're on the no nooks. Course heading uh, on that first hill, you know, you're going straight up in the sky. Next up we have dry casket aged old sewer water. Yeah. This isn't one of the, uh, what do they call it? Uh, courses. Uh, courses. I'm getting drunk, cheers. Yeah, it went down a lot easier. Dad? Next up, we got root beer beef short ribs. That's fennel. Is that a dog that got um, just ditched in an alley? Is That's that a fennel dog. That's a fennel dog? You're a boy. So we got fennel dog. Root beer of beef short rib. Are they using A&W mug? W which root beer do you think they're using? <laughs> That's a good question. This is so tender, I barely even have to, like, it almost cuts with a, a fork. Smoke, That's how dude. buttery tender it is. Oh, I'm I will sure. use a knife because I want Grant to love me. Oh, I'm stoked for this, dude. Oh, we gotta show how perfectly cooked that is. Oh, right? I, I, yes, please. Look at how well cooked it's got. It, what, what would you say this is? Like medium? Medium rare? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm dumb. Wow. I don't know, man. It's pretty, not very rare. It's in front of me. <laughs> Root beer of beef short rib. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, boy. That's what's up. That's my favorite thing so far. Yeah, by far, dude. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Little, mm. Uh, little thing about me. 
Beef short rib is my favorite food. Really? Well, congratulations, dude. I'm glad you get to eat it from like the best place in the world. I know. Are you supposed to eat it with any of these things? It looks like they got star anise, fennel, prunes. I mean, this is crazy. I'm not 100 years old and I'm eating a prune? Bro. Oh, wow. These parsnips are fire. Dude, these parsnips are dumb, bro. I didn't even know that parsnips were good. You guys want to bite? Mmm, bro. This is the some of the best meat I've ever had. Oh, my God, yeah. Holy smokes. Wow. Yeah, dude, I could eat this all day. So two of Chef's favorite childhood flavors, root beer floats and A1 steak sauce. Mm. That's what inspired the flavor profile for this. Bro, the respect I have for that. Right? I would pay 50 bucks just for that. That's freakishly good. I, I look forward to becoming rich one day. All right, and along with the beef, we got these delicious vanilla scented 50-50 Ribicone style mashed potatoes. Ooh, mashed potatoes, young son. Mashed potatoes. A little side, cheers. Oh my god. Those are really good. They're really good with that gravy of that. It meat. tastes like a cloud. Like I mm. ate, I put that in my mouth and it disintegrated before I could even like put my top roof yeah, of my dude. mouth onto my tongue. You know what it tastes like? Mm. You get those dollar mashed potato packets. From, yeah, from Orta Ida. The the butter ones? Yeah. It tastes exactly the same. <laughs> You're an ass. No, I'm being serious though. Have you, you ever had those? You I'm not, I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not trying to be an ass. You turned me on to those. I'm not, yeah. I, you made me those one time and I went and bought them. Yeah, they're so good, dude. Hey, no ass. No ass. And I, hey, I'm sarcastic almost all the time. Right now, I'm not even being sarcastic. Those instant potatoes. Those instant potatoes are fire. They are. These potatoes mm. are also fire. <laughs> These potatoes are also fire. Wow, is that good. Mm. So velvety and smooth and silky and you want to take a shot? End of a course. <laughs> Alright, our last thing before dessert. Wild mushrooms and asparagus. Lapsang Sushang Tea Emulsion Pickled Alimium. Words I don't know what's going on. Oh, I, I'm wow. reading. I'm trying to read. Emulsion looks like a, that looks like a weird chemistry experiment. Yeah, well, there's a lot of science going on in this meal. This is progressive American food, Corey. Get wow. help. Some people call it molecular gastronomy. We like to say progressive American. In this course, Chinese black tea has been smoked over fresh pine branches, creating a savory, woodsy flavored emulsion. Dude, we're about to eat the woods, dude. I thought emulsion was how spaceships get themselves up into the sky. I thought they shoot a... They, they emulsion themselves. It's like almost like they shoot themselves up with emulsion. That has to be true. You're a moron. This is a thick asparagus, three C's. Is this the type of mushrooms that are gonna make me feel good? Yeah, you paid the money, man, it better. <laughs> <laughs> asparagus and mushrooms, cheers. Cheers. Mmm, solid. Mm. Dude, I'm a huge asparagus fan. I buy it every week. Alimium is a type of onion. No wonder you like it. Yeah, I love one. That is very solid asparagus. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Five courses, done. You know what that means. Final shot. Make sure you finish your Malort before you get dessert. Carl Jepsen is spinning in his grave right now. Final shot. <clears throat> How you feeling? Huh? Hey, get it together. What? Cheers. I don't know if I should be impressed or mad at myself that I feel sober. Both. Dessert time? We gotta make a whole plate here, huh? I think we're about to use this like a craft table. I'm excited. Babe, when I saw you for the first time, I knew we were destined to me. Cause my knees went weak, my stomach went tight. Stay there, don't leave. Pull myself together, babe, I'm so shy. So we basically work at Alinea now. I'm excited. Dude, I think we did not a half bad job. I don't think so. So it tells you in the instructions to look at YouTube videos that other people have taken of the dessert. So we did that, and I think we did a better job. I'm, okay, I'm with you, buddy. <laughs> so this is just kind of like a smash plethora of everything. Uh, we did it in our own style. So if you get it at home and you can do it yourself, you can make it your own. Yeah, you get to have fun with it. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm going straight to the nucleus. Yeah, of course. Gotta get a little bit of chocolate this. mousse. Um, that's a good question. This looks like See. granola. This is yogurt. I'm just kind of, yeah, I'm running it through the garden, as they say. Also, the ice cream we had, Snickers ice cream, no big deal. Yeah. Bad respect. Dude, Alinea, table side dessert. Cheers. Cheers. What if the highlight of this was your Snickers ice cream? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, pretty good though. That chocolate mousse, is that what that is? That is ridiculously rich and delicious. Chocolate custard. Oh, it's like crunchy. Oh, that's science. Mm, oh my God. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, that bite was really good. This is fantastic. No wonder people go crazy for this. Dude, these little crumbs are delicious too. This is good. So in the restaurant, you get like 18 courses and it's like $400 a person, but here's the $50 anniversary abbreviated version of Alinea. We're finally rich. Rich enough to be able to do this. The rest of the world lowered their price. It took a pandemic for us to be able to afford to go to Alinea. You know, that's, you can be mad about that statement or realize that it's just true. It's just true. Bro, wow. this is actually a, like a, I'm not even a big dessert guy. This is actually pretty good. I know it looks kind of stupid, I bet, mm -hmm. or whatever. Like if I was watching as a big, I mean, it's pointless, but. I think it's cool. It's fun to do this with you too. This is very much a social thing. Mm -hmm. You know, Alinea is all about the sensories. Like you're firing at all senses, you're with people, you you know, like you're spending a good amount of money and you're doing this over the course of three, four hours. That's so cool. You know, it's a, it's a night out for like, for the year. Yeah. Do you think in the editing process that you show that we put down a clear plastic mat that they provided or people think that we just are eating <laughs> off the stone table? I didn't even think of that. That we've ate so many gross frozen pizzas off of. <laughs> it's like a glass backboard. But for food, I like the strawberry. It looks like Gogurt, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if they were just taking Gogurt go packs mm -hmm. and just scored them into these to go? It was the biggest con of all time. That would honestly, I'd be impressed with the brilliant. Me too. I wouldn't be mad. Dude, I give a five out of five to a Papadilla. I can't go much lower. <laughs> I'm going five out of five. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'd be stoked about a Gogurt. I like Papa John's. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Guys, let us know what you thought of this Linea video. If when you're in Chicago, you'd ever think about trying them out once everything's back to normal, let us know your Alinea thoughts. This is fun. This looks like a finger painting. Like Jackson Pollock just blasted all over Corey's coffee table. What a fun day. Mm. Do you think today was worth $50 a person? 50 bucks, yes. I do too. I bet the experience at the restaurant is also worth it. Yeah. I bet that's like a really, I like going to restaurants. I like the social experience of it. I like the moment, I like there's like a whole, there's a bunch tied to it that's more than just the food, right? I agree, I agree. I think that would probably be worth it if I had the money. I also think for $50. You know what the interest on that $50 comes to over 53 years? Being able to do all of this, this was fun to me. This is an activity, especially during quarantine. This is like- all night. Yeah, this was like a thing to do. Yeah. It wasn't just like delivery pizza where you get it and you eat it. And like, mm -hmm. also I enjoy that. But if I'm actually being honest, I really did have a good time with this. Me too. If I was like looking to like really brighten my day, like there's a lot of birthdays. My sister was supposed to get married this month. Mm -hmm. It's not happening. There's like, now she's got to do it in like a smaller, like there's just a lot of those moments happening. If you're experiencing those, one of those moments, you're like, man, I wish I could really celebrate. I'm not saying it's going to be the same thing. This is great though. But this is great. I think you could have a really good time doing this. Like that's my full, like my, haven't had it all. That's like my full, experience with it, I feel like. And I think that's what we call it today. I think that's perfect. This is worth 50 bucks. Make this a night, like get this on a Friday night, Saturday night, you gotta reserve kind of like far in advance. We're so great at making videos. <laughs> no offense, Alinea, but I bet our marketing probably just, I don't know, maybe tripled, maybe quadrupled yeah. the uh, uh, to-go's you're getting, so. Yeah, they're gonna get some orders because of us. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend like you're not. So you might wanna order a little in advance because we probably just bumped up their rush hour. Mm -hmm. So that's the Corey and Sean take. This is worth 50 bucks a person. Check this out during quarantine. This will brighten your day. This will make for a night. And dude, brand new video again tomorrow. You know how we do. Five videos a week here on Number Six with Cheese. Dude, <clears throat> smashed it. Chicago, you're the best food city in America, and we live here for a reason. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Alinea, we love you. Look dirty, dress clean, drink nasty. Old style in the Lord, baby. Handshake time. See you tomorrow.